Hi guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have another session here that we are going to talk about uh, more questions. There's this question that I was asked by the viewer about uh, the husband refusing to come after winning the DB lottery. And I also want to go and uh, just try to prepare you on how you're going to check your results, you know. <laughs> Today is Thursday, so we only have two days and it's good to be prepared. It's good to know the right website that we are going to go. So those are the two things that I'm going to talk about. My name is Charity Nganga. This is Charity's Bubble USA. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly consider subscribing. Hmm? We are on the road now to 5,000 subscribers. I think we have reached like 4,020 something. I do really appreciate you. I appreciate when you comment on my videos. I appreciate even when you give it a thumbs up, guys. I really, really do appreciate you. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about um, this question. It's a very sensitive question. And it's a sad question that I would say, because uh, when we when when we live this life, everybody wants to succeed in one way or another. Mm? You want to be better. And uh, by by talking about the DV lottery is that uh, when you win the DV lottery, sometimes I wouldn't say like um, some people have uh, everybody has the same experience. People have different experiences. Yes, but. Why not try? Because I believe this life is about taking risks. This life, the, the people who really succeed, they take risks. Now, let's talk about this question whereby this lady uh, said that uh, she has won the DV lottery, but the husband has refused and he has become malicious. And uh, he, he said that he's not going to come and he's not going to let, let her. But when they had done the application, they had um, um, they had applied as married, hmm? and uh, my pr my previous video when I talked about how you had applied if you had applied that you are married, unless you have a legal separation or unless you have a divorce, then that person that guy has to be there <laughs> in your paper. You know, like that's how it is, guys. Unless you have you have legal papers. Now let's assume that uh, your husband has refused, and they have said that they, they don't want to come. And that they have refused to release the kids, but you want to come. You do want to come. And uh, it's hard, guys. It's hard because sometimes they might, because um, they believe that um, the kids belong to two parents and both parents have a say. So I would, if I, were, I was, I were, if it were me, I would like just try all my best to convince him then to give me like a release, hmm? like permission. So that I could travel with the kids because you wanna, you you want what what's the best for your kids. Hmm? And the why I'm saying this is that guys, I have friends in Kenya. I do have friends, in, and I also have friends out there somewhere else in other countries. And uh, it's hard, guys. And when you come, you migrate to come and live in the U.S. It is not easy. I'm not gonna tell you that you will come and find. You know, people used to say stories whereby you'd come and find a money in the trees or the land of milk and honey. No. You have to come and work hard. You have to come and start from zero. But your children, they, they are guaranteed of a better future. Hmm? They are guaranteed of a better future. They are guaranteed that even if they go to university, if they, if they go where, they will get a job. Hmm? They are guaranteed that uh, they are not going to be desperate. They are guaranteed that you do not have to know someone for that person, for your child to get a job. Because it goes with your qualifications. Mm? And I like to say what I know. Mm? You know, uh, when we came and um, my son went to high school. No, he went to primary and then he went to high school. I remember he told us that he was going to get a job when he was in um, form three. I would say form three. That is um, uh, 11th grade. Yeah, 11th grade. And nobody stopped him when he went and uh, asked for the job. He got his job and he would only go to work for two hours. And that made him more responsible because he was able to pay for his gas, you know, for the gas for his car. So what am I saying? Sometimes we don't do these things because of ourselves, because maybe you have a life or whatever. We do that for the future of our kids. So I know the African culture is kind of sometimes messed up. 
<laughs> to some extent, sometimes it's messed up, especially when it comes, is the man who is saying everything and it's the man who is making decisions. But I think um, the best thing that you can go through it is like through dialogue. Hmm? It's through dialogue whereby then, um, because you, you listed him as, um, as you are married, then maybe you ask if he wants maybe to have something like a, a legal document, a legal separation document or all that, because those ones, like they show something. But if he has refused and he has said that uh, you are not going to go with his kids and you had, you had named the kids there, then that means that you will need something from him for him to be able to release those children. Hmm? You will, because the children are not yours by yourself. Hmm? The American system is a little bit different. Here, even when you get divorced, it's not like um, it's not like Africa, whereby uh, I know uh, tribes are different and cultures are different. There are some people when you separate or when, when, when you're not living together anymore, the kids are left with the dad. But the majority in Africa, you know that kids stay with the mom, and sometimes the man disappears and they, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't come back. Hmm? But here, you find that if you separate with someone. That man is, is an, uh, he, it is his responsibility to take care of those kids, regardless of whether you're talking to each other, regardless of whatever you did, he has to take care of his children. The same, same case with a woman. You cannot abandon them. If you abandon them, the government will come after you and they will garnish whatever that you're making. So it's very, very important uh, for, even for men, hmm? even for men not to be so hard. America is not that bad. It's not that bad. Why would you like deny that? It's it's a chance of a lifetime, guys. Most people have been trying to apply for the DV lottery and uh, they don't get it. And I'm telling you, it's a chance of a lifetime because when I was coming from Kenya, yes, I had my business. Yes, I was doing one, two, three. But I always sat down and I thought of my children. I was like, what are they going to do when they are done with high school? I would have taken them to college. Would, would they get jobs? That was a constant question that I always asked myself. But when you come here and you come with those children, those children, um, by the grace of God, they will have a good life. And that is what you should understand. It is not that bad. I understand there are some people who are scared because they don't want to start a new life. Life is all about taking risks. If you do not take a risk, then um, it becomes hard. It becomes difficult. Hmm? And then if you really do not want to go, if you really do not want to go, then why are you stopping your spouse from going? You know, for me, it doesn't make sense. You do not want to go. But why do you want to, because those are your wishes, you, you don't want to go, then you, 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 you say that even this, this, this woman is not going to go, and I am going to deny her the children. You know, that's not fair at all. It's not fair. It is not fair. So for that man who is refusing, what I can say is that it is not so bad to come and start life, because when you come here with the right papers, you are guaranteed to get a job. You will get a job. That is for sure. You're going to get a job. And then after you get a job, at first it's not going to be like a, a walk in the park. But one year, two years down the line, you have settled and you're, you're doing good. You're doing good. You, you will not be the same. Hmm? It's like comparing. Let me uh, give you just an example. Like comparing a dollar with uh, a shilling right now. You cannot compare. So it's the same thing. And I'm not saying that Africa is bad. It's really good and I really love Africa. But what I'm saying is that when you have children, when you have a family, it is not good to be self-centered. You know, there used to be those men, and I know sometimes they still exist, whereby they would not let their wives go to work. They would not. Hmm? They would not let, they, they just wanted you. You had gone to school and uh, you, you, were, you, were, you were well educated, but they just wanted you to stay at home and become a housewife and that's it and period because you're married to them i don't think it is right it is wrong but as uh, since uh you're still married for me uh what i would say is that um try and have a dialogue with him because you want to come because if those children are involved there might be um there might be a problem if he doesn't allow the kids to come hmm? You can still you can go and plead your case in the in the embassy and say uh, he has refused to come and whatever and whatever. But they'll still ask you for some documentation uh, to release the kids because the kids do not belong to you by yourself. So that's it. that is what I can say. But uh, I feel sad when I hear such stories. 
uh, because it is not good. And you know, there, there, are, there are those men also who, when you have um, when you have a job, and because they, 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 in their heart, they do not want you to work, they will not even buy anything in that house. They will leave all the responsibility to you. They will frustrate you and all that. I think uh, we should we should go beyond there. We 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 have evolved, guys. We have evolved, and um, it's good. Internet is good that we are talking about these things. And uh, people come here and people uphold their marriages. People do. Unless you came here with another different agenda, if you come and uh, you respect your values, you respect each other, you will do a good job, guys. You will do a good job. So all I can wish uh, for, for this uh, person who asked me this question is I can just wish you all the best. I just hope that uh, your husband's heart softens. He, he, he doesn't need to come. If he doesn't want to, nobody forces him. But he could give you like a release so that you can come with the kids. Uh, he could even go to the embassy with you and tell them, I don't want to go. But if they want to go, then they can go. There are some people who are kind enough to do that. Hmm? There are some people who are kind enough to do that. But uh, so that's what I can say about that, about, about that issue. It is sad. Uh, but uh, what I know is that uh, unless you are a millionaire there in Africa, and unless you have a very good life, it's always good to try. It's always good to try. And that is why you are seeing even uh, women and even men, they are going to the Middle East. Why are they going there? Because when they go there, they are making more money and they can be able to sustain themselves. They can be able to live a better life. Hmm? Everything has a challenge, guys. So uh, this is just uh, like a caution. And I think I should, I'm, I'm going to do, the next video is, is the one that I am going to do for the for the DV entrance uh, status check, because this one is a little bit longer and I don't like uh, making my videos very long. So let me just dwell on this. Uh, so I can just wish you all the best. Just uh, talk to him. I show him examples. I'm a good example. I'm still married to my husband. I'm, I don't plan to divorce my husband. I've gone to school. If he wants to go to school, he can go to school. If he doesn't want to go to school, it's okay. It's fine. But do not deny uh, that generation, your children, a good life. Do not deny them because that is what that man is doing. And uh, he doesn't want to stay. And then when the kids are older, uh, 10, 15 years down the line, when the kids are frustrated, he'll he, he be like, oh, uh, there was this chance that um, I, I just uh, threw to the drain. No, it is wrong. So, guys, uh, that's what I can say. I know it's a hard thing. And I know that our culture sometimes is messed up. And uh, sometimes our culture does not allow uh, it's not very permissive of women, but uh, I think um, dialogue, dialogue would help because at the end of the day, when you go there, they, they follow the law and uh, those kids belong to you and they belong to your husband at the same time. So ask him to give you something because you had, you had, uh, you know, if, if you, if you had uh, filled out a single and you had the kids, and uh, things went hayway, then you could go and uh, maybe say that uh, you don't live together anymore and all that. And you know, if you had filled out single, then it's it's what it is. Men run away. It's it's not uh, it's not um, it's not a wonder. You know, they run away, and uh, some of them want to come back when the kids are older or the, when the kids have gotten good jobs. They do that, and even women do that. I'm not here like to uh, to support one side and not support one side. People are different. But uh, in this issue, I just needed uh, to say that it is unfair uh, for the man. If you do not want to go, it's fine. Nobody is going to force you. But do not um, do not try to um, light out, you know, like just uh, blow the candle off for that, for your, for your wife and for your kids. It's a good life that you can come. And uh, the way if you if you uphold your morals, if you uphold your morals and you stand by how you are when you're coming from there, then you'll be okay. You'll be all right because they are good people. Uh, so uh, problems happen when you start um, engaging yourself with the wrong crowd, you know, because um, what I can say is that um, it's the, we don't have a lot of uh, social life here in the U.S. So maybe you have a group of friends that you want to join with. Uh, so you that's where you so the selection comes in because you look at those people you're like what are their values what, what do they do and all that 
and um, most of the the most important thing is just to think about your family and it is doable people have come here and they have they have brought up their children and their children have done good things so uh, that's what i wanted to talk about in this video uh, on my next video i am going to talk about uh, how we are going to check for the db lottery on saturday so thank you uh, for listening god bless you and stay safe